Okay, so I just have my stand mixer ready and first thing I'm doing is adding three cups of all-purpose flour. Next, I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of salt. Okay, now it's time to add your one teaspoon of baking powder. Now just get your stand mixer going on low, just enough to get all of the ingredients combined. Now I'm just going to be adding one third cup of chopped butter. And then you just want to bump up the speed. And after that, it's going to be time to add in your one cup of very hot water. Now just get that dough going until it all starts to form together into a ball. Once it forms into a ball, you can just let it keep on um, kneading, I guess, for about three minutes. And once it looks like this in texture, when you pull it apart, then it's ready. Now I'm just gonna let it rest for about one hour. And this is after I took it out, after resting. And I'm just gonna give it a slice in half, another slice in half, and just keep going until you have 16 pieces. And once I get to 16 pieces, I'm just gonna fold them and shape them like this. You just tuck under each dough ball and do that for the remaining 15 dough balls. After you get them all done, put them in, put them in a plastic bag or you could just set them aside and cover them for about 15 minutes. This is just going to allow the dough to rest so that when you roll it out, it's not really tough and hard to roll. It's going to make it way easier, so I highly recommend not skipping this part. After my dough balls have rested, I just set them on a very well floured cutting board. Once I do that, I just start rolling out my tortillas one by one. Just keep going until they're very thin in shape. You don't want them too thick because if they're really thick, they're gonna make like a really dry, hard kind of tortilla. So make sure you get them pretty thin like I show you in the picture. Now I'm just throwing my tortilla on a preheated skillet and I just have that going on medium low. Once you start to see the bubbles form, that's when you know it's starting to cook. And you can just um, tip it up and just give it a little look, see if it's starting to get those little brown dots. And if it is, just flip it over and let it cook on the other side. Okay, so once my tortilla is finished, I'm just going to take it off the skillet and I'm going to finish my remaining tortillas. Now you can see just how soft the tortillas are. I decided just to cook up some chorizo and eggs for my tortillas, but you can definitely just put butter on them. You can even make some quesadillas, fajitas. There's just so many possibilities. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be updated when I post my new videos.